Hey everyone, Jen here in my kitchen. And today we're thinking about summery tomato season. We're gonna make bruschetta, which was, uh, it was a request from Tracy. So I hope you're happy with this recipe that we're doing. Um, I'm taking it a little bit further than the traditional recipe. The traditional recipe just has tomatoes and garlic and basil and maybe a little bit of salt and pepper and balsamic, but I'm going to jazz it up a little bit and we're going to do things just a tiny bit differently. I was thinking about barbecue season. And so I think if you have a barbecue, um, you just can add a little extra flavor to your bruschetta by grilling your bread a little bit instead of doing it on the toaster, you know, get that nice smoky flavor into it. <clears throat> but I've got, I've got this um, nice loaf of sourdough bread from Downey Street Bakehouse. And I'm gonna toast this in my toaster oven and you don't want to go too far, but um, you can you can get it nice and toasty and crispy because our bruschetta mix is a little bit wet and will kind of soak into that toasty bread. So even if you've got like bread that seems like it's getting a little bit stale, not moldy, but a little bit stale, you can use that too. It'd be really good. Turn on our toaster and then I'm going to show you what you have to do with your tomatoes. So we've got these um, nice greenhouse tomatoes, but soon tomatoes will be coming into season. You might even have some tomatoes started on a patio or something, have a little garden, um, and you'll be rich with tomatoes or your neighbors will be giving you tomatoes. So you wanna have lots of things that you can do with tomatoes rather than just toasted tomato sandwiches, which are also delicious. But we wanna get a lot of that moisture out of these tomatoes. So cut them in half and get your fingers in there or a spoon if you don't want to touch it. But we're just going to take out the seeds and get that juice in there. You can save the seeds and juice or you can drink it or whatever. Um, it's totally fine. We just don't want our mix super wet. That's all. <clears throat> and then we're just going to give this a dice. So slice down through your tomato. You always want to have it on a on the flat surface so you're, it doesn't go rolling around. And then I, I stack up a couple slices of tomatoes, go across once this way, and then cut down into cubes or like a dice. You want to have a sharp knife for cutting up a tomato because sometimes, I don't know if you notice, but like if you don't have your sharpened knife, then you kind of get tomato mush on some of these ripe tomatoes. Um, the other thing, if you don't have a sharp knife, um, a serrated knife works pretty well too for tomatoes. So a serrated knife is, you know, like the bumpy edge knife. Oh, and somebody was asking me about this one last week. This one's called a Tojiro, made in Japan, found at uh, New Hamburg thrift store. Lucky me. <laughs> okay, and next thing going into my mix, I was just checking on my toes, is a sweet Vidalia onion. So I, this isn't traditional, but I like a little bit of onion just for that flavor and that little bit of crunch that you get gives you a little bit of variety in your, in your bites. Um, and again, we're just going to dice this like we did with the tomato. And if you don't like onion, that's okay too. You don't need to put onion in. <clears throat> I've got um, four tomatoes to one onion, which I think is probably a nice combination or a nice ratio. Um, but I'm just doing the one tomato and at about the quarter of an onion. So this will last in your refrigerator for a couple of days, but you might want to just try and eat it all fresh. I don't know why you wouldn't want to just eat it all in one go because it's so good. You'll love it, especially with this fresh basil. This is the best part, I think. So I'm picking off all of the nice leaves. Some of them have some brown spots. You probably don't want those in, but I just kind of peel that away. And 
it's a little rough looking kind of gather them up into a little a bundle like a little like you're rolling a cigar or something like that and then you just cut it into very thin little strips and that goes in we're gonna put a nice big pinch of salt in there some fresh pepper just a little splash of balsamic vinegar if you have it. Red wine vinegar is nice too, um, or nothing. You don't have to, but I just think that the vinegar kind of brings out the flavors in the tomato a little bit more. Give that a nice mix. Okay, and our toast should be done. Yes. Okay, nice and toasty. Okay, and so what I do instead of adding the garlic into the mix is cut a clove of garlic. So I have one here and I cut it down lengthwise unless you have a really big clove, but just so you have lots of surface area and something to hold on to. But we're just going to kind of rub the garlic all over the toast while it's hot still. And that gets that nice pungent spicy garlic flavor onto the toast and it smells like garlic bread already and um, then you don't have to worry about biting into a big chunk of garlic but it gives you all the flavor it's so good and then at this point if you wanted to add a little bit of butter to your toast that would be nice you do a little drizzle of olive oil um, like a layer of goat's cheese or cream cheese or something like that would be nice and then put on your topping but i'm going to do something a little bit different we're going to put our mix right down on top of the toast You could put an egg on this breakfast right i feel like you could eat this for any any meal it'd be so good as a side for dinner an appetizer if you did it on you know like littler pieces of toast but i'm gonna top mine with some crumbled feta and if you toasted your your bread on the barbecue you could throw this back on the barbecue and let the let the cheese get a little bit golden and melty or throw it under the broiler of the oven but I think that's that's perfect drizzle a little olive oil over top of that if you like and I think this makes a perfect light lunch and a great way to use up those delicious summery tomatoes okay well I hope you enjoy this one we'll see you soon